5.03 a block on table block hanging so you have to see the figure you have two blocks the block s and block h here the block s is exactly placed on the table which is a sliding over the table and then the second block h which is exactly hanging in the air so we have the problem based on these two blocks let's we read the question what is given in the question a figure shows a block s which is the sliding block with mass caps m equal to 3.3 kg and the block is free to move along a frictionless horizontal frictionless surface and connected by a cord that wraps over a frictionless pulley to a second block h which is the hanging block with mass small m equal to 2.1 kg the cord and the pulley have negligible masses compared to the blocks so here the cord mass and the pulley are massless that's the reason they mention in the bracket this cord and pulley are massless when you compare with block s as well as block h the hanging block h falls as the sliding block s accelerates to the right find the acceleration of the block s and find the acceleration of the block h and then find the tension in the cord so here we have to find the answer for three question in the first part we have to find the acceleration of block s and in the second part we have to find the acceleration of block h and the third part we are going to find the tension t in the cord so if you see the part a and part b the accelerations what you are going to get will be the same for both block s and h why because these two blocks are connected by a cord and this cord is exactly passed over the pulley and here the mass of the cord and the mass of the pulley are negligibly small when you compare with caps m and small m so we no need to consider the mass of the cord and the pulley so here we have to discard the mass of the cord and pulley for our calculation they clearly mention in the question and also they mention the surface where you kept the block s on the table and the surface of the table is a frictionless surface so the block s is a sliding over the table and then the second block h is exactly hanging in the air so we have to frame the free body diagram for this diagram clear now we can see this diagram we have the block s which takes the mass of caps m so you have the normal force which is exactly perpendicular to the surface and then the force due to gravity will be acting to the downward direction so let's we apply the rule for the force due to gravity as we studied the force due to gravity formula is mass multiplied by gravity so i can substitute the formula for the gravity here so by that what you will get caps m multiplied by g here and likewise if you see the right side of the figure we have the small mass which is our block h and here the force due to gravity is given so let's we substitute the formula so what's the formula mass multiplied by gravity but here the mass is small m multiplied by g and we can see these two blocks are connected by a cord so the tension will be exactly here so the tension will be in the right side of the the greater mass uh, small uh, caps m and then the upward force which is nothing but the tension for the small mass small m clear now we can write the given first so what's the value of caps m the caps m is nothing but the block s which takes the value of 3.3 kg and then the small m which is a block h takes the value of 2.1 kg now we have to frame the equation by using the free body diagram so let's we see the upward force which is equal to downward force so by that we will get the normal force which is equal to caps m multiplied by g and let's we consider the right side force of the first diagram which is caps m which is a block s 
So here the surface is a frictionless surface, so there will be no friction. So we have to equate this tension with Newton's second law. So therefore, a tension which is equal to a caps M multiplied by A. So now we have to find the equation for the hanging block. And here you can see your gravity, force due to gravity is greater than the tension. So we have to frame the equation mg minus t. Why we just write like this? Because here we have to give uh, the more uh, value for the force due to gravity. So here the force due to gravity is greater than the tension. So that's the reasons we wrote the equation as mg minus t and which is equal to the Newton's second law. So how we can write? So small mass m multiplied by the acceleration. So now we have these three equations. So let's we give the equation number. So this is our equation one, is our equation two, this is our equation three. Now by using these three equations, we can find the answer for one by one. So better I can rewrite this equation again here. So by that, we can solve easily. So the normal force, which is equal to caps M multiplied by G, and then the tension for the left side of the figure, which is equated with the Newton second law. So caps M multiplied by A, and then the right side, the force due to gravity is greater than the tension. So we have to write mg minus t, which is equal to small m multiplied by a. So let's we write the equation as 1, 2, and 3. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the equation 2 and 3 for getting the answer for acceleration. So add equations 2 and 3, both left-hand side and right-hand side. So I'm going to consider these two equations. So first, I'm going to add the left-hand side, and then I'm going to add the right-hand side. So by that, we will get the equation. So T plus, because I'm adding these two equations, so left-hand side only I'm going to add T plus mg minus T, which is equal to the right-hand side, caps M multiplied by A plus small m multiplied by A. So by that, you can see that plus T and minus T get cancelled. So we have only a small mg, which is equal to caps m multiplied by a plus a small m multiplied by a. So in this, we can take the acceleration as the common term. So caps m plus small m, left hand side, we have m multiplied by g. Now, if you rearrange this equation, we can easily find the answer for the first two questions because the acceleration for the block s and the acceleration for the block h will be the same. So once you get the answer for the acceleration, that will be the same for both blocks. So if you rearrange this equation in terms of acceleration, so what you'll get? Acceleration A equal to small m multiplied by G divided by caps M plus small m. Now I'm going to substitute the value. As they clearly mentioned the value in the question, caps M takes the value of 3.3 kilogram and small m takes the value of 2.1 kilogram. Now I'm going, and then we know the value of G, which is 9.8 meter per second square. I'm going to substitute the value here. Therefore, A equal to 2.1 multiplied by 9.8 divided by 3.3 plus 2.1. So here, I got the answer as 3.81 meter per second square. So better we can write the answer in terms of one digit. So therefore, A equal to 3.8 meter per second square. So this is the answer for A and B. That means the acceleration, the acceleration of block S and block H are same. Why? Because these two are connected by a cord which is passed over the frictionless pulley. So that means the acceleration value which is equal to 3.8 for block S and then which is take which takes the same value for block h also so that means a equal to 3.8 meter per second square that's our answer for a and b now we have to find the answer for the tension in the cord so again you have to see we have two equation which takes the letter of t right equation 2 have the letter t which is tension and also equation 3 also we have the tension t 
So if you want to use any one of the equation, you can get the answer for the tension. So better we can use the first equation. So if you use the first equation, we can get the answer easily or I can show for both clear. So let's rewrite these two equation and by that you can get a clear idea. So what is our first second equation? Caps T which is equal to caps M multiplied by A. And then what is our second equation? Small m g minus tension which is equal to small m multiplied by a. So let's we substitute the answer for this part. So t which is equal to cap sum value is 3.3, 3.3 3 multiplied by the acceleration value is 3.8. So let's we see what's the answer. So 3.3 3 multiplied by 3.8. I got the answer here as 12.5 so what answer I got a 12.5 Newton so if you just rounded to uh, the rounded figure so which is a 13 Newton clear so that's the answer so we got for attention if you use the right this equation you have to get the same answer so let's we substitute the value before that we have to rearrange this equation in terms of t so what I'm going to do I'm going to move this term to the right hand side by that this minus t become plus t and then I'm going to take this uh, positive m multiply by a to the left hand side by the time this positive will take the negative answer so let's we write the equation so small m multiply by g when you move these two here so it will take negative value m multiply by a and when you just take this to the right hand side it will take the positive value of the t so now you can see the mass small m is a common term therefore tension which is equal to the mass i'm going to take as a common term multiply by g minus a now i'm going to substitute the value because the small m value is already given in the question as a 2.1 kilogram so 2.1 multiplied by 9.8 minus 3.8 so 2.1 multiply 9.8 minus 3.8 so i got the answer as 12.6 what answer i got a 12.6 if you rounded this to a rounded figure so we can write the tension as 30 newton so that means both are giving the same answer but in the book how they did they just give an equation of tension in the different way so what they give is very easy you know what they just give the equation they multiply this equation a with tension so better i can just show that also so by that uh, it is very clear for you so what is our second equation t equal to caps m multiplied by a and what is the equation we used for finding the acceleration so let's we just go back so the acceleration equation here is a small m multiplied by g divided by caps m plus m so i can just write this equation small m multiplied by g divided by caps m plus m so what they did they take this acceleration equation they multiply here so by that your equation becomes caps m multiplied by this term which is small m g divided by caps m plus m and if you substitute this you will get the same answer so let's we substitute the value so t equal to the caps m takes the value of which is 3.3 multiplied by small m takes the value of 2.1 multiplied by 9.8 divided by 3.3 plus 2.1 for sure you will get the same answer 3.3 multiply 2.1 multiply 9.8 divided by 3.3 plus 2.1 we got the answer as 12.57 what answer have we got 12.57 if you round it to a uh, rounded figure so you'll get t equal to 13 newton so you can see you can use any one of the equation for finding the answer for the tension so this is the answer for our last part c that's it. Thank you.